a rather grim homily today, I'm afraid. The dying echoes of another American shooting ring in the outraged ears of the world, this time in a church where children were performing a play. This has a particular resonance for me because for four years I traveled in Germany, performing religiously themed theater in churches and schools. And so I was moved and disturbed by the news reports and my heartfelt condolences go out to those who have lost loved ones in yet another senseless slaughter. There has been some suggestion that the perpetrator was an atheist. Now, in this instance, I think that quite unlikely, given his expressed views with regard to homosexuality and liberals and a claim that he was a confederate, whatever precisely that might mean. I suppose a homophobic racist atheist is possible, but it strikes me as unlikely. Still, regardless of this guy's ideology, I can't help but think that a clear-cut atheist outrage is just a matter of time. Now please, don't all start yelling at me at once. Hear me out. Let me quote a little reworded Shakespeare at you. Hath not an atheist eyes, hath not an atheist hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? <sighs> when my own deep-seated anger at having been duped out of part of my life for decades bubbles unexpectedly to the surface, I balance it off against the wealth of experiences and wonderful people I met as a Christian missionary. I consider how fortunate I have been in the Christians I knew, particularly in the latter years, as I became increasingly liberal, for want of a better term. Not everyone is going to be that lucky. What if you don't have that? What if you realize it's all bullshit, not at 35, but at 55 or 60? What if you have no career or savings or life? Because Jesus was supposed to provide. And worst of all, you are in that situation, in the most socially Darwinian and heavily armed society on the planet. I, I literally break out in a cold sweat when I think of what might have been. If I had have been a little more enthusiastic or a little less willing to question, married a, uh, an American missionary instead of a Swedish one. Decisions, choices, potential dead ends. There is a chilling downside to snapping people out of the delusion. At least some people. Not that I'm suggesting we should shut up, far from it. Maybe there's a need for some kind of recovery program for ex-theists run by ex-theists, like Alcoholics Anonymous or something. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds kind of cult-like and sort of crazy, but some people, but some people are going to need to be let down gently, and some people are going to need a lot of help. The kind of ideas that we bandy around YouTube and barely give a second thought to these days engender heart-stopping terror in the thoroughgoing religious mind. Trust me on this. Uh, this is the voice of experience talking. As responsible citizens of our respective societies and of the wider world, we need to think about this stuff. We need to talk about this stuff before, potentially, the worst happens. Am I crazy? Comments? Rebuttals? Agreement?